Under and Up is going to be coming to you in just a bit. But first, you know, a lot of people ask us, what are some of the things that we miss here in Sicily and Italy? And I'll be honest with you, not much for me. Love it here. Of course, friends and family I miss. But there's one thing that may shock you. I miss my Dunkin's. Dunkin' Donuts. But you know what I do to make this a little bit more Sicilianized or Italianized? I just made those words up. I make them in our Violetti's. The big one, the small one, two cups for these. A very regular thing in the households of most Italians and I'm going to show you how to make it. You take it apart. There's three parts to this. Obviously, this guy's gotten quite a play here in this house. It's supposed to be just clean and silver, but the flames burned it. Okay, step number one is you take this, and there's a line in there. You fill this up with water up to the line. This is what's called a basket. And Alfred was so kind to clean it. And we're going to put it in here. So we're going to pack it with the coffee. Then we're going to screw this guy on nice and tight. And you want to put it on a low burner, not high. And then we just wait. By the way, these Bialettis are about 25 to 30 bucks, depending where you buy them. Made out of stainless steel. You do what I usually do is I do a little bit of cleanup around the kitchen because this takes a little bit three or four minutes, nothing yet. This is what it looks like inside, almost looks like Etna erupting, huh? <laughs> All right, soon she's gonna start singing. Almost full cup. No, she's ready. Full cup of Java Joe. I usually have it with a little bit of milk and sugar. How do you have your coffee? Leave me a comment. Ah, uh, nothing like a good cup of a Java Joe in the morning, in the afternoon, definitely after lunch. And Cicely, don't go anywhere. Alfred has something very important to say. Cheers. Saturday morning. Beautiful time. Dogs barking, chickens crowing people cutting their lawns and you know what I'm doing today I'm worried because Easter's coming up and there's one thing in Easter I miss every year every year peeps there are no peeps in Sicily matter of fact I think I'm gonna do a poem about that there are no peeps in Sicily we have other stuff of course from delicious palumba cakes for Easter the uh, uva di Pasqua, the beautiful uh, biscotti cookies with the eggs in the middle, delicious. We have Nestle brand. We have Nestle brand chocolates all over the place, made in Germany, which are very good. But peeps, forget about it. Do they have, you may ask, like things like M&M's, Snickers, stuff like that? The answer is yes, but it's pretty much expensive. Me, when I do have the idea of doing something in chocolates, which is very often. I'll do Big Ben. Big Ben, they look like M&M's, peanuts, except I gotta tell you something. They're ginormous. So it's a whole peanut, it's really good. And of course, Ventura, the dried figs. Dried figs are great. I have them in the cereal in the morning, a couple of them, they're terrific. And my favorite cookie with my espresso, right here. Now, what other things do I miss? It's very simple. At the very top of the list, the top of the list, cranberry jelly. Thank God I have friends that send me a few of these things. Ocean spray, if you're a New Englander, you don't eat turkey. You don't eat chicken without it. Over here, there's no such... They, they don't have cranberry jelly or cranberry anything, practically. And then, of course, thanks to my friends again, maple syrup. Maple syrup here comes from Germany. It doesn't taste the same. For me, I was weaned on, you know, good stuff. 
usually from Vermont or Maine when it when it when it, the uh, cold uh, runs the syrup grade A stuff. As a New Englander, was we're a little bit spoiled about that. But anyways, it's tough living here. <laughs> I mean, really, if this is all I have to complain about, shut up. <laughs> Lord, I've seen the light. Here's another one of my daily reflections. Bad lighting, even though I did shave a couple days ago. My new navy hat. But here's what I'm thinking about, and it's starting today. No more expensive rip-off perfumes, aftershaves for this guy, okay? For years, I spent thousands of dollars on things like Gucci, perfume, uh, Bugare, all these other Italian things that I see that I buy at the duty free and I stink. Most important thing is I smell like everybody else. So I'm shedding that life of mine. Gone. Now I'm reverting back to a kind of simpler day. A day of my youth. A day when my dad, for example, would splash on some aqua velva. Four bucks. I love it. And the Italian version, Prorasa. Okay? Just as cheap. However, I'm in dire need of things. I need immediately the following brands because I want to smell like my brother Tommy, my pal Billy Dixon, my pal Greg Cleary, even Matty Bryan from Lawrence, Massachusetts. I want to smell like him too. So I need English leather, if there is none here. I need Jade East, none here. British Sterling, none here. What other cheap perfume can you think about that perhaps I should add for my repertoire? I don't know, but guess what? I'm starting a new revolution. The revolution is why waste money? when after 20 minutes I want to smell like a glass of whiskey in any case. Peace.